Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta give me a real one, too. People can't say, like, you're a pussy for taking okay. a fake one. But you've gotta, like, put the weight on your leg. Put the weight on my front leg? Yeah, but not, yeah, just, like, tell her to go. I'm Robbie Fox, this is Meatball Molly, and this is Spin of that. Mayo. So we have right chips now, and salsa, uh, we have donkey plates, we have ponchos, and we got porn stars. Okay, Rochelle Ryan's on her way in. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. <laughs> <laughs> now the reason she's coming in isn't because um, she's uh, Mexican, okay. it's because she slept with a slew of Mexican men and we want the tea on that uncut cock just, south of the border. Oh, uh, so that's really why she's going to be one here one today. Um, We're all I'm wondering nervous. that. Yeah, I'd be nervous too. You are like, no, he's bummed up. Do you see well, that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you, you know, I never, you never lost her virginity to yeah, a woman right. before. So I'm going to ask her if she's, she's, first of all, foremost, so if she likes me thinking I'm attractive. Second of all, if she wants me, uh, if I can take her virginity, or she takes my virginity. Or maybe she straps one on and, um. You would bottom for her before you talk to her. Obviously, you bottom for her. Yeah, I'd be on her. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Marty's bummed up already. Look at this little I'm hat. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. She's, she's one of my all-time favorites. Do you know that Lisa <laughs> Ann was her... <gasps> Is she here? Is she... Bring her in. We're getting a live reaction. Marty, you can't stand up. Oh, yeah, Marty, take a seat. <laughs> Where is she? I gooned to her last night. She's getting this character. What, what does that mean? Well, I pleasured myself for hours and hours on end, not letting myself finish until until Rochelle Ryan told me it was it was time. Until Daddy said it was okay. A little edging, nice. Do I look offensive? High. I think you look beautiful. <laughs> if, if beauty is offensive, then yes. Okay. Where's my Where's my Where's my Riri? She probably left. She found out that she thinks it's offensive. She goes, wait, yeah, okay. mustaches? I think we'll oh. hold off on the mustaches for a second. <laughs> yeah, they get it. It's in the name Better? It looks the, like Yamaha. With a side bang? How about you want song? She's here! I'm so excited! Oh, Christian oh, 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 Dior! Snatched! Has she snatched? I brought this back for you. Oh, you know you'd appreciate this bag. Get over here. Get over here. How are you, Mama? So it's so nice to meet you. You're so gorgeous. Thank you. You know, it takes a lot of work to look this cheap. We're going full Cinco de Mayo. I know you. I know you enjoy cocktails. Oh wait, well, yes, absolutely. So I'm, I'm all tangled up here. I'm gonna set my luggage nice. over here. I want that outfit. Oh, right. Fashion Nova. Is it? Oh, it's so hot. Oh, well, thank you. All right. We usually do like we were thinking about like what we could do with you this show, and we were like, why don't we just do like you're the third host. Oh, like, we'll like okay. interview you, we'll have fun, but like, let's just have, as Joy says, some kiki cocktails. I'm just worried that I'm gonna laugh so much. Like, oh, you guys cares? crack oh, me no, up. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I love you guys. Come I on. have to say, I was a little worried about you in Vegas. I oh, God. No, literally, I had, yeah, I had, I had a trans prostitute back to my house, and I was fighting with him over a straight boy. It was a nightmare. His name was Straight Guy was gonna fuck the trans prostitute, but then Joey got It's jealous. like, I have a dick too, bitch. Right. Just her tits are bigger than mine. I just, I saw you, I was watching you on live when you were, you were lit up a cigarette, you uh, were bitch. gambling. I was like, oh, I'm worried for him I, now. I didn't get, I didn't get home until one o'clock in the afternoon that day. And then I called someone, I, I, and then a 60 year old man came downstairs and I blew him like in the afternoon after like I just woke up. Show him the, show, is that the black guy? Mm -hmm. would, you be, would you like to see it, his penis? Yes. It's like, it's, like a, it's like seeing a unicorn in public. You never see a small black dick. Not yeah, my line of work, anyway. Sniff one out. <laughs> Can you, you like turn me up, Trish? What? Can you turn me up, Mom? Absolutely. I feel like we should just start. <laughs> um, oh. Marty, I think the, the main thing this podcast is we have to make sure that we're not being... Um, Racist. Yeah. You're making me nervous with your phone log right now. Oh I'm afraid you're going to call Dad. Oh, no. It's okay. He'd love oh. it. <laughs> Do you actually want to have a, a mark right now? Oh, sure. We're I'm nine somewhere. minutes late. Now, this is strong. This is the <laughs> no-judgment zone. We can Did you put real tequila in there? 
Yes. We put Kendall Jenner tequila. Fla yes. Kendall Jenner flavored tequila in here. Let's start the there show. We're, we're local. Yeah. Let's it's eight one eight. I'm <laughs> definitely <laughs> sucking black dick tonight. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Who's Josh? I'm unhinged. Can I come and watch? Yes. Oh my yeah. God. We're gonna reach, I'm gonna ask your point. Is there? Is that okay? Oh, is there anything off topic you don't feel comfortable talking about? Oh, I'm like wide open. Okay, well, we know, girl. Which <laughs> 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 we see. Oh, I, I said, can we do topless tacos? She thought I was asking her to make tacos with her tits out. I was like, no. no. Us having. We're her gonna make Emily do tacos with her. tits yeah. <laughs> I was like, I might get a little shy then. No, yeah, no. But I didn't wear a bra for you guys. I figured, you know, same. You know right? <laughs> right? Ready, Joe? I've been, I'm born ready. <laughs> Joey, clap. Oh. Give him the clap. Yeah, the clap. Oh, we can put these on the ground. Just throw those on the ground. All right, everyone, or should I say, hola? Uh, Come on, please stop. Put them on the clap. Oh, yes. <laughs> Would you do it? I yes. I, like, what? Like, can I lift it up? Yeah. Oh. They, it, they would die. It, they, it wouldn't be on camera. Oh. It would just they would be flourish. It would just be them to say. Oh, yes. You're so tall. Mm -hmm. How tall are you? I'm six foot. Oh my god. Here's goodness. your glasses. I got your pink and a blue. Do you want us to hold this for you? Oh, sure. Thank you. All right, so Michelle, this is the yak. So when you walk out here, there's the, um, the glass thing, and they're all in there. They would freak out. You don't have to take, don't lift it up if you don't want to. But if you right, want to, you can. Do it. All right, Rochelle is gonna put him on the glass for the boys in the yacht. <laughs> Save her. Like, don't like, like, no. yeah, don't like, like, like the bully put her you. titties on the glass. Like no, only, yeah. only if you get like a funny BTS of me doing okay. it. Oh, that's yeah. good. I, I, have, I have one here. You're not gonna right. get kicked out of here. No. Oh, oh, no. oh. It's, it's, so go right to front and center. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Again. Oh my God. He says, oh. <laughs> You are the best! That's so funny! <laughs> Do it I again! Love, I love him! That's how you get ratings. Hey, girl. <laughs> Follow me in our show. We'll show you. Let's do our little views. Let's shop around. I love around. you. <laughs> Know, no, I, I, I love that. They're there. Like, why does it matter? Oh, I know. <laughs> like, not even if they tag team, they want to know what to do with it. <laughs> 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 what a productive shower. I don't know if I bring her in here or not. Never know. Not even no. more. No. Productive shower. I think, I know Big Cat knows. Oh, the Australian sure. They all know oh. you. <laughs> and Pride, by the way, you're coming to Pride if we Oh, I'm so down. So we're gooning. Do you know what gooning is? It's, it's edging. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I learned that on the episode. But it's for like meth addicts. Like, so they stay up for like, they're on meth or crack and they, or whatever, and they stay up jerking off for like out, like days and days. They don't sleep, they just keep doing blowing meth in glass pipes and Jesus. masturbating. You can goon without being on meth. Well, <laughs> not, it's not I do, encouraged. I do it every day. I'm getting the lovely two of you. Ooh, yes. This is Dave Pornoy's desk. Do you want to sit at Dave Pornoy's desk? I would love to sit at Pornoy's desk. Right here. <laughs> go through his stuff. Not my idea, Dave. Not my idea. It's my idea. <laughs> okay, wow. get out of my way. Oh my goodness. Stuff only go up. This is amazing. You know, I sent him my panties during the unboxing. Oh. I did. That was nice of you. I know, right? Do you think he has them in the office? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, probably not. <laughs> I'm actually wearing them. <laughs> no, now, are you, are you, are you nude down there? No, I got a bush. A full bush? Not you a full, full bush. bush right now? No, you have a full bush. Like a little partial I one. I shaved my balls with this yesterday and it tingles. Really? I have one. Oh my god. It might not be good to get in your cooter though. I put it on my bush, my bush okay. And your pH was fine? Well, I'm fresh as a daisy, and now it will tingle. Okay. It will tingle. Oh my god. I, this is yeah, where I, I fantasized about gooning for years. That's why I've never done it. Lay back, have a fruit cup, and watch the game. <laughs> then we can go this way. This is the kitchen. And Wednesdays after the show comes out, I freeze one of these, and I put it right in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll do a lap and... Yep. Do, do a whore lap. That's a what I call it. Whore the lap. whore lap. I love it. I love how we're like parading you around. <laughs> oh. Reserved. This is where they bring the talent when they come in. Oh, but we, I love it. I know, they oh, dropped me off in here for a little bit. From Bachelor. Who? Matt G. From the, the, hot guy, the hot black guy from The Bachelor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like barely watch The Bachelor like a little bit. Is he here but right I don't now? Give a fuck about it. I, this is Larry. That's what they sit over there, the bloggers. Oh. Huh. I wish I knew the guy that writes a lot of them for me. I wonder if he's here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, now I got up. Yeah. And we're gonna. Do you want to confront him? Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Okay. He's he's amazing. So with what he I'll knock him the fuck out. 
Yeah. Just say the word. It's probably Nate. It's a really nice article. It's like yeah. he's awesome. It's but he him. uses a Jerry Thornton. Oh. Who is that? He is, is he a gun. No, 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 Jerry Thornton is the horniest old man in the world. He oh. works. He's a very fantastic writer. Um, but he works out of Boston. Oh, he's okay. the best. It's we Jerry, need... Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Yes, it's always Jerry. The one that came to your house? No, this you haven't met Jerry. He's, oh. he he's uses, awesome. He uses that picture, and it is horrible. I'm like Jerry, get a new photo. You don't like this photo no. of yourself? Hell no. It's great. I hate that photo. Well, send us How... the right one, and we'll send it to him. I give me phone. Jerry's number. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, sorry, it's all ass Show them the <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> it's just literally. Your phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She picks it up. This. No, she picks it up this around. way. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you Radio. Uh -huh. Go in there. Have you been in here yet? Me? No. You would, could, you would love this show. Yeah, oh, really, yeah. Really fun. Oh, that, wow. Are you, isn't that's great? the first time I got a glance at that thing. Oh, that thing. Okay. <laughs> no, she's cheeked up. <laughs> that's really cool. Is that supposed to be Dave? That's Dave. It doesn't look like like me. a lot of the people Wait, here. Wait, that have, does not look like you. I know. A lot of people here have moved on or. That doesn't look like Dave, though. Like it does and it doesn't. Michelle, it's a yes. this is uh, my new roommate and competitor, oh. Dana Beers. He's I love you. How's it going? Hi, nice to I've meet you. I've seen you on the internet before. Yeah. I know you. I know you like the Bang Bus. Oh, I do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's the other one with the the dancing bear? Oh, I don't think they do that one anymore. That shit gets me going. Oh, it's really? Dancing bear. Yeah, it's you, like a bachelor like party. I don't know if it's real or not, though. I've always wondered. It's, I don't want to know. Oh, I don't want to know. Oh, okay. I, won't tell I don't want to know. Okay, we'll keep the fantasy alive. Yeah. Okay, I will. Keep the fantasy alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what is it? It's like bachelorette parties, and the dude like comes out in a bear outfit. Oh. <laughs> he just starts bear fucking bear everybody. Yeah. Oh, he keeps it on. Do he fucks everyone? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have, you, have you had the pleasure of doing it? No. Oh. No. It's more amateur. No, you die. It's more amateur, Joey. You should know. Nice to meet you. I didn't yeah. think I was going to be talking Dancing Bear today. But. <laughs> Can I get a picture with you? Of course. Oh, 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 Men always do that and it pulls the hair. That's why I'm like, no, like, put it right here, like right on my lower back or something. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Back. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you to your table. Who's the table? Where's who? Tommy. This is Hank. Tommy Spunks. Hey. Hi, this how are you? He's, nice he's to one meet of the you. founders. Ryan. Yes. <laughs> She's looking for awesome. Tommy Smokes who we were looking for. I think he might be here. <laughs> I think he might be here. I'm not sure though. Oh, he's over here? I think they're over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> just crazy. Oh, I just really do. Michelle Ryan wants to meet you. She's a porn star. She's a fan of yours, not Ken. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's just turned it out to you before. It's awesome. I love you asked you show the biggest I know, he's so cute. Hi, it's nice to finally meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> Has Tommy been in your DMs? I've been in his DMs. Oh, Hell yeah, Tommy. Yep. I remember you were a big fan during Surviving Barstool last year. Yes, yes, I love that. Smokes effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so shy, I feel so bad. Oh, right. I feel like I'm scared of What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Out. <laughs> no, you're so cute. Thank you. You want a picture? Do you want a picture? Sure, if you, yeah. Oh, he's like, whatever. It's like, chill. I was looking for you. I was on the hunt. I was on the cougar hunt for Tommy. That's how most people is when it comes to this office. <laughs> they come to see the king gorilla. <laughs> Oh, June 26th. Oh, not shy at all. You look great. We were in each other's DMs yeah. before. How are you? It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. You look great. Wow. Oh, thank you. Even, no, the videos don't do it justice. Oh, well, thank you. Well, he's trying to make me blush now. Yeah, or he's trying to get in my pants. Yeah. They're hard pants to get in. Can I get a picture of Of course. 
It was nice to meet you. It was, it was nice to meet you too. You smell great. Oh, thank you. I took a bath. Oh, I love yeah. it so much. I'm so happy Sun I got to meet you too. Yeah, yeah I, will, I will gladly yeah. slide in your teeth. Okay, good. Jump into shaver's hair with that today. Oh, yes. I will try shaving my bush with this. Okay, good. I'll give you a review. I'll give you a review. How it works. I'll show you later. I did my whole sack with it. It is smoother than a baby. It feels like it feels just like um, little sass's cheeks. You're a very good ambassador. He's got two bowling balls. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I it have seen them. It is smooth. <laughs> All right, everyone, or should I say, hola? Uh, como com esta? Como esta? Como se dice? Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Listen, it's Crap episode homie. It's episode number 99 of Out and About. Uh, it's the big Cinco de Mayo episode. We have a very, very special guest who flew in just for this. We were a fan of hers very long before she was a fan of ours. Yes. The legendary, the very sexy, um, the brawlers. The elusive. <laughs> Rochelle Ryan has joined the show. Rochelle, how are you, my queen? And then other people Yeah. They want to eat. Oh, I love small dick. Do you want me to glaze them cheeks down? No. Have you ever fucked a Mexican? I like small nips. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. How long was that? Oh! We got thick boy in the building, Brendan Schaub. Oh, I thought you were talking about him. Oh, he, yeah, him, him too, though. though. <laughs> you know? You talking about oh, me, thick boy? Yeah. yeah. Vests are never, you know, vests always make you look puffy. <laughs> These, this isn't a puffy vest. Do I look fat right now? Is that what you guys are telling me? It's a little bit puffy. Come on. When you have those things. Why don't you guys just fucking say it? Fine, I'll take my goddamn vest off. <laughs> I wasn't thinking until you said it, and then I'm just like, no, it's going funny. You know, that's the last thing you're supposed to do to talent before they go on air. <laughs> you're supposed to get them feeling self-conscious. Bro, I have fucking mirrors, man. I know what I look like. That shit doesn't phase me anymore. <laughs> You've leveled up, though. I've leveled up? Yeah. What does that mean? From from the Civil War soldier to like oh okay oh you just like, I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna yeah. months ago he's yeah. really fat no. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ no, leveled a... up from an XL to a double XL that'd fat a, boy that would be a funny way to describe someone getting fat <laughs> leveled up you leveled up <laughs> you're like Mega Mario now yeah <laughs> what's he got going on he's got a special right he's got a new special Gringo Poppy he's got a new uh, his whole network is new thick thick boy thick boy uh, Network, I think it's called Thick Boy Industries, Thick Boy Studios. Thick Boy Studios is, uh, I mean, he had a five-year deal with Showtime, and they offered him like a new extension, and he said no to go do his own thing. That's that's got that's some balls. That's betting on yourself right there. So I'm sure Showtime was offering many figures. Well, I'd like to find out if I, you know, I'd like to bet on myself if I knew I would win. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, that would be a fun bet. I know I'll lose. It's like I wish I knew if it was gonna be black or red on the roulette table, but I don't. He might have. The, I, I uh, actually know I will lose. <laughs> he might have like the funniest podcast clip in history. I'm popping out. Oh yeah, with Bobby Lee. Yes. What's that? Yo, the podcast with Bobby. What's it? Hey, I'm. It might be the funniest podcast clip in history. <laughs> Do I not know this? I gotta know Dude. this. No. Dude. It's on his show or Bobby Lee's show. It's on his, I believe. Um. Well, okay, when I was nine, I got molested by a guy with Down syndrome. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay, shit. Okay, right, fuck. <laughs> I just did a one minute man on the Met Gala, dropping as many abortion terms in there as I possibly could. I mean, like, nothing else matters on the Met Gala night. It was, like, exactly nine months since the last one. I was really? Like, Shout out you, God. Dude, I thought the Sebastian Stan one was a joke, because the first time I saw the tweet was on Lights Here on Barstool. You know who was dope? Uh, Sean Mendez, when he took the one yeah. jacket off, like... He had like he had like an like, overcoat. Like yeah, but but like even, but when he took the overcoat off, he had an outfit that was like not even that silly. Like it was just kind of like a cool outfit. Like didn't have to even be Met Gala. You could he wear that to like a fucking Ryan Reynolds like fire. Yeah, I didn't see Ryan Reynolds. He, he had, like, a, Blake Lively was like, the most posted person out of the whole thing. You didn't see the thing where she unfolds her gown and he's like, uh, oh no, how did I miss mad that? Mad brownie points for him. So Russell Westbrook, you like fucking ridiculous, but it's awesome. Like a Tim Burton fucking character, like yeah, a yeah, magician, yeah. such a loser. Well, that Kim like, walking in the this is so gay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Kim walking in the fucking Marilyn Monroe dress, was too scared to rip it. Was hilarious. Well, like she wouldn't wiggle. Like, she like, like she was like I mean she was walking like this. Like I heard she had to drop like sixteen pounds just to get in it. I think yeah. I think it was like something crazy. Like like, like people started having like theories after her White Cross correspondence dinner red carpet. Like her ass looks way smaller, and it did because she was had to fit in a dress that she couldn't. They couldn't fucking... just remake one? 
She ended. She wore a fake one for most of the night. Oh. But on like the red carpet for like, I don't know for a few. Like I, th- I honestly think it was like under twenty minutes. She wore the real one. What do you think you would rock if you were there? I have no idea because I don't know. I don't understand the themes. Like last night was Gilded Age or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know how any of that matches. I don't know what the Gilded Age is for starters. And then I don't know. Me neither. What the? Uh, I don't know how any of that means Gilded Age. Like, I, I don't get how like. I obviously don't get how it works. No one gets how it works. It would have been funny if you dressed like eighteen seventy to nineteen hundred. Okay, it, you're pretty close. It would have been funny if you dressed like a like a uh, like a peasant. The rapid expansion of industrialization led to the real wage growth of sixty percent. Railroads, major growth industry. So it's just like basically Wikipedia. Like I, I would dress like a Vanderbilt. That's what I would do. I dress like a Vanderbilt. Kill it, age, bam, done. You look like a train worker. Like a train worker? Yeah. Like a train owner or a train worker? No, you're swinging the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you could do both. You have the unique ability of being like high I can, class. I live and in both lo- worlds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is funny when they do this stuff though, when it's like it's like the Gilded Age, the time before civil rights. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's a, that's a weird thing to have a theme for a party. Like pre-civil <laughs> rights is weird to me. I mean, there's a lot of things it was before. Yeah. Like no, be- I know. Before Fast and the Furious series. True. I think one of those is more important than the other. <laughs> Fast and, being Fast and Furious, obviously. It's the most important night of the year where nothing else matter. Everything stops where we get to live vicariously through the rich and elite. Oh, what a night it is. The celebrities are wait. The celebrities are rowing through the waters of fashion while we, the poor people, wade in the deep end. Where the celebrities row through the waters of fashion while we, the poor people, wade in the deep end like scum. Damn, that was cool. All right, you're good. No, 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 I just was adding one more thing. What's, what's up, bro? Good to see you, too. My brother. Hey, what's up, man? Go, 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 go. How you doing, man? Good, man. How you doing, man? How's the kiddo? Fucking great, dude. Good? Yeah. What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? Great jacket. Are you from Colorado? I am. What part? Denver. Me, too. No way. Yep. Actually? Oh, yeah. What neighborhood? Uh, Aurora. Nice. I grew up dude. in Aurora. I grew up in Hilltop, like right, in, like uh, like near Grayland. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Cherry Creek Mall. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, that's a great yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my dad Not lives bad. in uh, Green. What's up, fellas? Uh, uh, lives in Greenwood <laughs> Village. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I went to Overland High School. Exactly. Yeah, went to CU right. University Everyone of Colorado. I had no idea. That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The boys, man. I know you were from Aurora. You were yeah. Soder, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Dan, Dan Soder, he's the he's the first one to break out of it. That's Dude, all we. Wait. Tim Allen's also from Colorado, but claims Detroit. Really? Machine Gun Kelly also from Colorado, but claims Ohio. No shit. I don't know Tim what's Allen. going on. That was pure Michigan. That's that's weird one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Machine Gun Kelly, he he moved from Denver. when He was like 14. And all he does is claim Ohio. I'm like, bro, what's up with Denver? Four, bro? Yeah, 14 is pretty late. 14. 14. <laughs> You're from Denver. Yeah. yeah right. Right. Sounds like people are on your ass right now. They are. Who's on your ass? <laughs> a lot of people are on my ass. Glenny Balls has people on his ass, too. Um, What's yo. up with this whiskey, man? You want some? <laughs> Do I? Do you want yeah. 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 how many yeah. shows I've done? Let's fucking go, man. The real good shit. We got the Boss Hog if you want it. This is like... Whistle Pig? That's the, yeah. Yeah, those are my boys. You want some? Let's yeah. do it, man. Okay. Can you go grab some... Uh, I, I was just oh, I was just walking here clean? thinking about the, the Celtics game tonight, thinking about not drinking, going, you know what, I think I'm going to go no drinking weekdays all of May. And that lasted <laughs> literally 26 minutes. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Uh, Come on. You got it. Listen, I know you guys are big. I, I'm not the rock. Come on, man. Can I get some ice, for God's sakes? I don't know. This shit is so good that you it can sip nice. on it. It is nice. I just like a little ice. You don't want to wipe that on me. No, it's all, it's all good. No, I don't want to spill. No, let me wipe on these fucking tight jeans, man. <laughs> Which I didn't know aren't in in New York. Yeah. yeah oh, big, big bag. Yo, it's a big moment yeah. for guys like me. You had to run. Skinny jeans and tight shit. Now everyone's doing fucking floppy stuff. I'm like, let's go. Let's At leisure. No, no, no. Sweatpants. No, baggy no, shit. No. Yeah. Lazy. Yeah. Lazy. Yeah. Lazy. Yep. Lazy. yeah. Thick boy. Come on. Thick boy, but thick boy in tight jeans, dude. I don't give a fuck what the fashion trend is. I refuse to give in to it. 26 minutes. What is it's how long me not drinking on during the weekend. Oh. <laughs> 26 minutes. 
You there's Uber here now. Be no, fucking no, cool, no, dude. No, no, dude. No, I'm, no. Out, I'm out on Uber. I don't do it. You do taxis? I do taxis. Dude, I drove into tax last night there. for the first time in years. The dude was so rude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, but Uber is, I, I don't know. Uber, I, I, I think I've had a, uh, a bit of like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become a communist thing where I, I'm, I've been fighting Airbnb and Ubers recently. Yeah, I No. Like a gentleman. Dude, Airbnb's Wait, fucking... Hotels? They, yes. Wait, in a frat? Dude, hotels don't ask you to do <laughs> fucking chores in the morning. Every Airbnb, like, make your bed or, or take your sheets off. Fucking weird. empty the trash. It's also like a $400 cleaning service. I'm like, then why am I cleaning? It doesn't make any sense to me. It, Kevin, what? But, oh, uh, sorry. I was just I was just pitching uh, Brandon on becoming a communist and hating Airbnb <laughs> I and Uber. Do Airbnb. And like, this is no, the first time I... Why did you act like I can't be in on it? You were like, oh, never mind. Well, no, because you, you were he's like... like no, he's, he's like, like, he's like John's been on a rampage against really the biggest companies <laughs> in the world. Oh, yeah. Ride shares and Airbnbs. It's like, what's next? You I'm, hate I'm, social media I'm done internet? with them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you yeah. know that one. Airbnb is the gentleman's move, man. No. Nah. They've also gotten, like... They've gotten worse. They used to be very nice. It used to be like, oh, this, come to our beautiful home. Now it's this fucking ratchet fucking trap house. It's on you, bud. You're the one picking it. I guess I've never picked one. No, we're really, poor, really John! Coming. I've never picked an Airbnb. I always just stay in the Airbnb these people pick. Hey, how long you guys want to pretend you're poor? How long you want to do that for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how you want to do that? <laughs> this guy's dad was fucking Biden over here. You're fucking rich as shit. You're one of the originals here. You guys, you save it, man. <laughs> God, I need a Diet Coke sponsor, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're second, huh? Oh, you're you're ripped through them? That's my seventh of the day. Yeah. yeah. All right, right? Yeah. What do you drink, Mr. Pib or something? I'm just a water guy. Water. water or alcohol, that's it. Boy. No caffeine, yeah. no coffee. Mr. Pib is fancy. Mr. Pib is bald. You know? Yeah. He's like, I drink juice. <laughs> you ever heard a Capri Sun song? All right, ready? <clears throat> I think so. Well, let's go. What's up, guys? I'm Brendan Chop. Go watch my new comedy special on Thick Boy YouTube. The Gringo Poppy, available right now for your enjoyment. This is me answering the internet. You have a choice between a sum of money and world peace. <laughs> How much money would it take for you to give up world peace? World peace would be lit, man. Like you say Ukraine, I'd be a serious. If you say Ukraine, you got all the shit in China stuff going on here, which isn't too bad, I believe the media. So, <laughs> uh, I turn to Alex Jones. Uh, right? here's 200 the, billion. Here's where the entrepreneur comes into play. Here. I saw world peace. You know how many sponsors I'm going to get? Yeah, I was yeah. just talking about Diet Coke. That you don't think it. Diet Coke's hanging off my nuts after this? Mm -hmm. I'm on Oprah. I'm doing real shit, man. You know they don't know who named the earth? Really? They don't know where the name Earth came. That just kind of fucked me up. Yeah, yeah. I wish you didn't say that. <laughs> but also, every city would have a statue of me. Everywhere I go, dude, Philly's taking down that stupid Rocky Balboa statue. I'm there now, like this. And then I can tell my hand, you swim the waist out of it. You take fat out of my face. Done a lot recently, but I told Chris to come back in for his special. And if he does, if you want to come up, come, come, come. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'll come with. Yeah. Later, brother. Later, brother. Take it easy. Be good, man. Shut the fuck up, we're having an actual conversation. The, the fake version is bullshit. I know that was fake. Right. You could drive the ball. Dave's not here. You don't have to hop somebody's leg just because that's what you do. You could drive the ball. I can drive the fuck out of it. Yeah. I can outdrive you. No, you can't. You you think you that that this can outdrive me? Yes, hundred percent. I'm Brandon Walker. You can't outdrive me. Yes, I can. Five hundred dollars. Deal. How many well, well keep the handshake there. Ten <laughs> ten ten drives. Ten drives. Longest drive wins. Longest drive wins. Oh do you see it now? We're doing it. Hot damn. We're doing it. Now, it's how do we do it? Where, that how are we going to do it? Huh? Let's get back to Roback. You you sound a little jealous that they sent me some No, I, no I don't, I'm not a little jealous. I'm a lot jealous. Yeah. Look at the guys over, over at the Robacks. Look at the guys over at the Robacks with this care package. I mean, come on. God. I mean, cream of the crop type of guys. Cream of the crop type of guys, man. Hoodies, T-shirts, hats. I mean, these guys. You are a smaller personality than me. Yeah. You're not as entertaining or as funny. 
Yet Roback sends you a bunch of stuff. Just why? Just because you say it was always something? Anybody can do that. So start saying it was always Roback. <laughs> why? That no. Why does why do companies like Roback send you clothes to wear? Because I'm a bigger personality than you. You're not bigger at anything than me. I mean, you're just bigger in height and probably shoe size and probably penis size, but that's about it. That's a lot. It is a lot. And you got better hair. Mm. But A, I'm bigger and more interesting than you. B Interesting maybe. I mean, I've only been on I've only been on Twitter for six months. I've only been on Twitter I'm three months. I'm, I'm you, False. What? First of all, you, you say you're projected. My, my Instagram is way bigger than. Fine, yours. I don't do Instagram. I have a girl for that. Your my your your Twitter. You're gonna plateau. Plateau. Yeah. I think so. You can't just be. What, what are you just gonna? You're gonna DM Kenny Pickett every three months and get bigger, and then you, no, you're gonna run out. You're gonna run out. I've been on the straight ascent. Everybody's on the straight ascent. How many followers do you have on Twitter? I really don't. Two fourteen. And I got one twenty in six months. You've been here how long? How long have you had Twitter? I would say... Or, I've, or just been here? Been here three years. Okay, so my projection is to probably quadruple your following. But you're not going to do that. You're going to plateau. See, I don't believe in that term. When well, comes, you are. When it comes to Jersey Jerry, I don't believe in that. I think if you want to plateau, you will. If you don't put in the effort, you will. You're saying I don't put in the effort? I'm not saying that. You're one of the hardest workers here. I'll give you that. But, I, you know, I think... Also, it's like 440. Why are you still here? It's the latest you've ever been here. <laughs> that might be true. That might be true. <laughs> I could say in the last like three months, I've definitely been staying till like five, six, seven. Last night I was here till seven. Like, really doing what? I was shooting the basketball. <laughs> 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 so when's the drive? Soon. A couple weeks we'll do it. Yeah. Where we'll, do we, we'll warm up a little bit. Where do we go for that? I got a drive range right by my house. And it tell it tells you exactly how far you. No, nah, we'll have to guess. Be a gentleman's agreement. No, we have to get one of those trackers. We will. We will measure it. We will measure it accordingly. First of all, you're not going to be involved at all. You're oh not yes, coming. I am. Oh yes, I am. Your mustache is freaky, and I don't want it around. Oh, I'm going to be there. Brandon might be the bigger person personality right now, but you I need to shoot for Rico or Marty. You don't need to be shooting for me. Oh, I'm past that. I'm past that. I. All right, looking forward to it. I will be there. Yeah, you will. 100% you're not going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm not even going to tell you. I'll be there. So 500 we're doing, right? That's fine with me. Yeah, I know. I don't know if it's fine with me. You just got a big fucking race. Yeah. I, I got to move. I got four you can't, kids and a wife. You can't put together 500? I'll spot you. If you don't shave that fucking mustache, <laughs> I don't want you talking to me. I got 500 just, in my wallet right now. Just, you, you've you tried to tell me you'll give me $500 with that mustache. I think you're trying to fuck me. You can't even grow a mustache. Cannot grow a mustache. You want me to Correct. make a video for you so you, you know, Roback can give you some stuff? No, I'll do you. No, no, I'll do it for you. Hey, Roback Jersey Jerry here, just stopping by out of love and respect. Um, thank you guys for the care package. It was amazing. I really appreciate what you guys do for Jersey Jerry. One of my buddies is a bit jealous. He's a bit upset. Um, big fan of your guys, Brandon Walker. He's right here. He would, he would, he would love a care package from I you guys. I just don't understand. I'm a bigger personality with more followers and people like me more. And he's wearing a hoodie right now. He's not even wearing your. I wear your stuff all the time. Forget Brandon Walker some Roback. I met you at the party. Well, listen, Roback, do the right thing. Do the right thing. I know you guys love Jersey Jerry more than when Brandon Walker, but just do the right thing here. I thought, I thought you were just going to DM them or something. No. I didn't think you were going to put it out publicly. Yeah. That's what you want. You want you want them to send you I just want the free shit. I don't want the public embarrassment. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. You want me to delete it? I'll delete no, it. I don't want you to delete that. Then uh, I don't want your bitch. Yeah, true. People will come at you for that. Sorry, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Ah. Uh. It's, it's the NHL playoffs. That means Spittin' Chicklets is in town, Manhattan, to raise hell. Live streams, doing a show, a couple interviews, and what have you. We're going to uh, raise some hell in Manhattan. That's what we do. The guy, uh, Biz, is uh, right down the hall right I'm there. I'm surprised I don't hear them hooting and hollering. Usually there's a big reception when he gets here. I'm going to have to go get my, uh, get, dap him up. He bought me these nice fresh kicks when we were in Toronto, so uh, I owe him. But New York, Spittin' Chicklets, playoffs, what more can you say? Hey, so we had Stu Finer on our podcast. Do my eyes look blitz right now? No, you look, you look uh, a <laughs> I appreciate your honesty, Rudy. Rudy's behind the scenes right now. But, um, yeah. oh, so we had Stu Finer on our podcast for an interview. 10 out of 10. That guy is a legend. So genius hire, Dave. Quick tire pump. 
Um, but apparently Dave was mad because we have not had him on the Spit and Checkles podcast yet. I think this. There's, I think Dave's story is not even half written. I want to get him on a little farther down the road. He has obviously created a monster. Even, even, even him finding this fucking maniac. Yeah, that's right. You should be applauded, Dave. You should be applauded again. Ray roll, ray roll, ray roll. All right, let's five, ten minutes. This is the last thing we do before we go to fucking Hoboken. Hoboken. The home. Hey, this is light gambling. Hey, he is. Yeah, hey, uh, hey. He's, 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 he's in business mode right now. I'm posting get ready for the live stream, spit okay. and chicken. Oh, right. 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 Let's go. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Doug's the host. Right. Okay. All right. Welcome to Doug's Den, special edition of Doug's Den. We're going to be opening up some upper deck hockey with the hockey guys, spit and chicklets. We have Biz. All right. And the wonderful Mr. Stu Finer. Hi. Now, Bring it across. you guys are familiar with hockey? We bit. I've never done this before, so I'm not really excited. But the level of Paul's excitement is born. I'm gonna hit the pack. I'm not unboxing like I unboxed your mother. <laughs> <laughs> unboxed your sister. So be careful with the packs. Hey, All right, gentle, 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 gentle. Boy, Carly Mint, man. Easy Don't on your sister. Just I'm gonna die. rip this oh, well, like I did your sister's them. vagina. Oh my God. I put oh, wow. this on my YouTube, yeah, Stu. Yeah, Josh Bailey, shout I've out heard, Megan. Megan, I've I love you. Ready to roll, Mulch is here. Uh, oh. What do we got, what do we got? Thomas Grease slash Grace, whatever I feel like calling it. That looks fancy. Episode. What is that? Uh, Brent Burns. You one tell of me. I don't know what that means. 2021 22 uh, honor roll. I guess this Fairfoot. is a, uh, this would be like a, uh, a parallel card. His team is up 1 0 with like him right now. Game Jersey. Oh, Sebastian Ajo. So I did good here, right? You did good. Here, let me, let me grab that so I can sleep that out. Carolina Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo. Currently up 1 0 in a series with the Bruins. To Foley, Lucic. Oh, oh you got some good ones here. Great Kale that, that's like the, oh, that's your, that's your winner right else. there. These two, McCarr and Bergeron yeah, up the top. Yeah, exactly. Oh, baby. There oh, we go. baby. baby. Nice. This man, wow. 100, 100 points. Decent number of people hit 100 points this year. Yeah. He was one of the guys. That's a nice. special card, right? I predict Portraits. Yeah, that's a good, a good uh, subset, a little insert card. What do you, yeah. what do you got, Stu? Any young guns in here? I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, hey. You gotta look at those. Hey, I'm, okay, I'm oh, 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 I think Coyote is a rookie. That's a, that's a, nice a rookie. Nice. nice. It's Ready the first to roll. Time I've ever done this and uh, I enjoyed right, it. Let me I, next All time right, I do so it, I'm going to bring oh, thank, you, thank you very much, Coach and Doug's. Cheese Whiz and Pistachio. Stu and Sam feel well, and thank you to Doug's for having us. No, having th th us th thank you guys for joining me. Stu, did you get enough dopamine hits from that? Thank you guys for joining me. I love Special edition of Doug's Den. ready. Wrap it up. Doug, See you guys love next you. Time. It's an honor. Let's go. Last oh, shot. Good job. Thanks, buddy. Right. That was fun. Thanks, thanks that was fun, man. Brought back so, memories yeah, which, as uh, a young boy. Do you? Is there is there a key to like all of Canada? Do you think they'll give me? Uh, you think there'll be a parade that I'll be part of? Stampede. They, they, they I don't know. I I'm just wondering Canada culturally. Is July first. So do you think I'll, it'll be just Big Cat Day? I could, I could easily see them it at least happen. just incorporating you. Somehow, maybe, True. I don't know, just want to be on a, maybe put me on the dollar bill. The loon, the loony. The loony. I'll be on the loony. Or the toonie. Or the toonie. The loony's worth nothing. Uh-oh. It's like meeting a new celebrity all over again. It's like, uh, my memory gets wiped out. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to be able to do it. I think if we have any chance of them going on a cup run, we got to go belly buttons out for the run. <laughs> I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Canada's going to get their first thing. I need, oh, I need that too. What's up, Rare? Would you come in on a train or what? You all right? What do you mean? Because it took you so long? No, I'm just busting you. Do you think they have a chance? I just took a red eye. I took a red eye to come here, Dan. Do you think they Oh, to do your job. Wow. So I will. This guy. So I. Hey, everyone. Biz took a red eye to do his job. Yeah. Huge. Earn his paycheck. Uh, we'll be taking a nap during tomorrow's recording, by the way. <laughs> well, we through. figured we want to do it on Tuesday so that you have a little time. Yeah, yeah. I know how hard it is to do these streams. Fuck, Ari, I'm getting older. You know what it's like, right? You Five, fucking take yeah. a red eye and fucking wipe you out for three days, yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. That's the idea. I don't even know who's doctor, man. I don't even know what teams are playing in playoffs anymore. My brain's mush. What are we doing, Jerry? 
Oh, well, going over some some of my notes here. I got um on a W Uber W B Mason notepad. Um, just going over you know some notes and you know where where these horses um, raced at, how fast did they race, um, who was the jockey on the horse. Just a bunch of important stuff for the uh, for the Kentucky Derby. So we're going over that and uh, trying to pick the best horse, which is going to be hard. What's your opinion? I already told you. Who? What do you mean? Epicenter. No. What's your opinion on how good my notes are? I think I did a good job. I mean, you wouldn't probably know because I know more than you, but. No offense. None taken. It was a false statement. Lojo's on Cyberknife? Yeah. That might be my pick. I love. Yeah. I love Flojo. Ah, uh, well, I think that's not the horse, but. Okay. Has that's a good, fine. That's a decent job. Who? He likes Cyberknife. Flojo. Brad Lauren Giroux. Brad Cox horse. Great jockey. Great trainer. His, uh, his mother-in-law used to uh, waitress it at, at Arlington, where where we'd watch the races. Yeah. Really? Very nice lady. Where, like a local Denny's or something? No, no, the racetrack. Oh, See, oh, oh he knows a lot about racing. <laughs> wow. You said a waitress. Could be a waitress anywhere. No, she 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 would. They told her like a Denny's or an. Her son-in-law was winning horses while she was being an incredible, gracious host, sitting in the boxes at Arlington. Don't treat me like I'm I'm Rico and I don't know what I'm talking about with horses. I know you well, you know more than Rico. Don't do that. <laughs> Openly said it. Don't don't be don't be talking down to me like I'm a crumb bum like Rico who doesn't Don't say that. Who couldn't Dan. pick a don't, pony to save his don't life. Don't say that, Dan. Come on. Don't I didn't I'm doesn't you just said I said don't talk to me he like that. It. Doesn't mean you can't like the derby. You never played pro football. I hate you every week on your show. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> What did he say? He said you, you never played pro football, but I hear you like football. <laughs> did you? Are you a horse? Is that what? How that analogy works? He's <laughs> called himself a horse. Last year, who won the Derby after uh, Medina Spirit got uh, training better than Manlin, who won last year's Derby. Same same trainer. Right, Cox. Yeah, I got the trainer right. Yeah. Yeah. So just, you know, something to just keep in your mind. And I, I didn't even know that Florent Drew was on there. I love that guy. Yep. He's fucking great. Great job. I'll give you a shout on the show for that note, Dan. Hey, thanks. You know what? Give that one to Rico. I think Dan and me. A little bit of fun. What'd you do? I'm like, because I think, like, the only people here that, like, know horses kind of is, like, Elio and me. And then, like, Rico... Yeah. Not that he tried to get in the mix, like he's welcome whenever, you know. But you know, Dan caught on, and Dan's like, "Oh well, this guy has no idea." He's talking about horses. Why he's trying to waste, make his way into horse content, and then he talked about it on the show, Dave. Like, you know, Jersey Jerry's a horse guy. He comes with me anywhere. I go to horse racing. But Rico, no. And then that happened yesterday and today. Dan giving him shit, like oh. So just per usual, then pissing Rico off. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I saw him storm away. He wasn't happy. No, he's not happy. He's not happy. Maybe we'll go get him. We'll see what he's at. Sorry. No, you're good. He, 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 he play, plays that up. Why does he do that? Well, the tough part is when that becomes a narrative. I said it. I don't know fucking horses. I can't control horses. That's why I don't bet him. Yeah. I can't, you can't. I don't think you can win. But. He, he brings it over the top a little bit, Dan. Doesn't mean I don't love the Derby. It's a great yeah. day. Yeah. Jack will be there next year. We'll see. You th I think, honestly, I think you might know just as much as Dan about horses. Look at this damage money, Jack. Don't put that on there. Come on, that'll be bad, but get his skinny frame. I think this is, I don't know. I could do damage with Jack. No, come on, they'll think, come on. <laughs> Come on, Tivo. Come on, Tivo. Joking you, for you the bit. Said it. Nobody else yeah, said joking. It. I thought it's a skit thing. I it's thought you were a skit, skit guy. Oh, that's a skit. I thought it was a skit. All right, oh. cut. It was a skit. Oh, that's gonna. That's. Come on, Tivo. He's doing his job. Come on. 
you gotta keep filming when the bear eats the person? <laughs> you just keep rolling? Guy's dying? Help! You just... That's you, TiVo? Welcome to the inaugural first ever Kentucky Derby show with Jersey Jerry. Post six, Messier, eight to one, ran by no other than the Johnny V, Johnny Velasquez. Dig deep, Johnny V! Um, and he went inside and out. He did uh, one of these. He, he was inside and then he went out. He slipped, he slipped Zandon, uh, Chad Brown horse, inside out, last quarter mile. You remember who trained Tyba? If you don't, I'll tell you, Bob Baffert. Bob Baffert happens to be suspended right now for drugging up the ponies, for giving them steroids. Bob Baffert, th there might be some juice still in Taiba. Interesting note. All right, Jerry, how'd it go? It went good. Uh, I, it was my first ever Kentucky Derby show. I think it went really good. Um, there was a point in the show, though, where I flipped, you can kind of see a little bit now, I flipped the table, and if you watch the show, uh, which I hope you guys do, watch when I talk about Tiz, I think I was talking about Tiz the Bomb. Um, and I flipped the table, and then my finger snapped out of its socket. Um, you can see I have no knuckle on this finger right now. It snapped out of the socket completely. And I, I on live air, on live camera, I popped my finger right back in. It's an inter interesting clip if you guys want to go watch it. I'm pretty sure it's when I was talking about Tiz the Bomb, and I flipped the table. Derby, Derby Show, the Kentucky Derby Show with Jersey Jerry, Friday on my YouTube. Um, great show. Give it a listen. I think uh, Viva La Stool is going to post it. Barstool Sportsbook is going to post it. The whole company is going to post it. One of the best shows ever done when it comes to horse racing um, was brought to you by the one and only Jersey Jerry. I appreciate everybody if you go give it a listen. Thanks so much. Let's go Tyba. So the business casual. Um... So I've had these AF1s in my closet, brand new, clean, and you know, like. You broke my fucking tap or not? Yeah. Well, I broke it out. You came too. So oh, like you're stunting. So. <laughs> no, but then I was like. This is stunting. I'm never going to. I'm I'm getting a fit off. This is when I like people think that I'm not <laughs> getting fits off. This is an actual. Billy fit. does look good today. Yeah. yeah. He's he's wearing the shirt that has never been worn. I you never can understand still people. Still got the fold marks on. I don't have to. Well, it's kind of swaggy. Kind of gives off a little vibe. Because this is sloppy. What what vibe does a tuck and polo give? Like, this is sloppy. You know what vibe I get good. from it? I get no, like... Better. I get like... <laughs> more relaxed. Yeah. Like grad assistant yeah, football so. coach at like University of Louisiana Lafayette. Yeah. <laughs> this is the heck of a vibe. Mm -hmm. Which is not... That's not like... The Honestly, mm -hmm. I, that's like... I never really had to dress myself. So I'm more of a uniform guy. <laughs> the hardest part about this job is that we don't have like a dress code so you can wear whatever you want. So in the morning, it's like, hardest what part do about I this job? Wear? Where? Billy's got a tough life, man. It's, it's not all, it's, it's not sunshine and roses being a blogger. Yeah, you gotta Billy dress Brand yourself. Hell, dog. <laughs> I, like, off of the, back when the I worked in <laughs> finance, yeah. you just like threw on t-shirt, tie, jacket. And it was just easy. You knew what you were wearing every day. And here you have to have style? Yeah. I've never had that style in my life. Like you, you got it now, brother. <laughs> I had to. I did the thing where, like, if I was, I was never gonna wear these, so I just whipped them out today. I didn't wear them. Who you guys got today? John Tapper's coming in. Mm. Tap Daddy. It's been a few years since we've had him in the building. Um, he actually still owes me a drink. Like, he needs to name a drink after me because the Capitals beat the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup back in 2018. Okay. And we had a bet on that. And so we just haven't been able – it was originally me and Big Cat were going to go and do, like, a bar rescue reconnaissance thing. But we haven't been able to figure out a time that's lined up. That would be fire. It would be. And we probably could have figured out – like, it's been four years. But, you know, COVID and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I don't know. That sounds like an excuse. <laughs> four years. Yeah. COVID ain't been for four years. We – we, can at least figure out when he's going to name the drink after me. Do you have uh, any ideas what the content of the drink would be? Well, yeah, we've talked about it. We've talked about it. Uh, the PFT was one idea. That, makes a, PF, of, that PM, makes a ton of sense. Or the PMT, like T-E-A. Um, it's a long iron iced tea, just with a spin. There he is. Hey. hey guys. Tapper, what's up, man? How are you? How's it going? Good to see you, buddy. I don't think I've ever seen you without your glasses on before. Yeah, do the eyes intimidate you? No, no, it's okay. nice to actually look at you. Got the baby blues. Nice to see you, buddy. Likewise, man. Likewise. 
Uh, so <coughs> that's Billy. Do you know Billy? Hi, Billy Hello. Football. How are you? Nice to meet you. Avery, nice to meet you. Avery, nice to meet you. You been good? Uh, Do you want to get out? Doing good, man. No, How about you? Here. It's been very, very busy around here. So you guys were working from home, or have you been here? Me and Big Cat and uh, and Hank kind of decided after like a couple of months during the pandemic, we're like, we're we're just going to be in each other's quarantine bubble, so we'll just come into the office. And so then we just kind of kept doing that. And uh, yeah, so we've been we've been in person for like basically the entire time, but it's been it's good to get back like you know in person with right. everybody else in the office. Yeah, the Zoom thing sucked after a while. It huh? sucked. Yeah. I hate talking into a camera like that. So you if I'm not mistaken, thing. this is the studio with the subway under it, right? This is yes. <laughs> that Pete that Pete fucked up when he designed it. He not only did he design it above a subway, but he also designed it without. Soundproof glass on the outside. Um, all right, we ready to go? Sure. All right. One second. Three, two, one. We welcome on a very special guest to Macrodosing. Um, been a friend of mine for four or five years. Yeah. It's John Taffer. Yeah, so let me you know where you're at. Yeah, man. We'll do it. Thanks so much. It's my pleasure. Great. Great to meet you. Same here. We'll drag Thank you so out. much. Thank you, Take care, guys. Take care, John. So, so, Have a good one. Be Congratulations well. on a success. Yes, Thank you, buddy. Sneak, you want to start boozing? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's Maddie's birthday. Hey, We're going to the Mets game tonight. Billy's got like always just a million excuses and ready to go. Like, oh, we should probably we should probably have a drink. I mean, I, I, I mean, would also like a drink. Nah, uh, we need another ocean drink. <laughs> you backed off that pretty easily. Uh, <laughs> can I hop in on the bench press? Thank you. Where are you going to yeah, go up Matt, to 75 again? Switch. Together, you guys could. I still can't believe that 275. <laughs> Push, push, push. Oh. Yeah. Did he touch the bar? Yes, it was. You fucking robbed me. Oh no. I bro, you fucking, fucking robbed me, bro. This like stigma that I don't work don't hard is a, gone way I'm too just, far. I'm just no, I get don't defensive. Don't go red. Don't go red. But I mean, me, Dan, and PFT did talk about you reporting to me at yeah. one point. Kelly's your boss now. Like, That'd I would make you come in by 10 a.m. and like. But do you understand that when I'm at home, I'm blogging and like. No, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> like being productive. <laughs> I, I like how Billy's like making up fake excuses for being lazy to someone who's definitely not his boss right now. <laughs> He's like justified. I literally, I wake up and I start I blogging. Promise. I do work out while I blog, but that's like a very efficient use of time. <laughs> you work out while you blog? Yeah, like like between sets, I'm like blogging. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally so much more productive. <laughs> no, you Billy, Billy is a unique believe. person. No, no, it's true. Yeah. No. It's the efficient use of space. I mean, the grocery is his food. Like he'll eat eggs in between sets, which it, the what is it? The metabolic window gets activated. Anabolic window. Yeah, anabolic. He, he literally believes he's 